The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. A vicious, unprovoked attack leaves a young woman shot in the face and her boyfriend dead. That is Sydney's story, one she had the courage to share with us just weeks after the shooting with the killer still on the loose. She was wounded inside and out. Let's have a look. It all started with a movie night with my boyfriend. He had a friend named Quentin, and he said that he was coming through. I had only been in bed for about five minutes, and then I had heard a horrible scream. When I looked up, there was Quentin with a gun in my face, and then he shot me. I laid down and acted like I was dead. I waited for him to leave, and I was on the phone with 911, and I told him me and my boyfriend's been shot. I need help. I don't know if he's coming back. I lost my best friend, and without him here, I'm lost. I'm lost. It's been just a few weeks since that horrific incident. Emotionally, I cannot even imagine losing your best friend, the person you love. Mm. We're gonna set you up with some therapy in your hometown so you have someone to talk to. How have you been coping with the physical part of this? I'm losing my eye. I've had to become dependent on somebody, so that's been really the hardest part. After taping, Sydney met up with board-certified ophthalmologist and reconstructive surgeon, Dr. Christopher Zumalan, to see if he could help save her injured eye. Sydney, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you for coming. I'm gonna go ahead and examine you. All right, sweetheart, look down. What I wanna do now is see how you tolerate this prosthetic. This is what a prosthetic looks like. The technical term for this is a shell because it goes over your eye. The goal is to make sure you tolerate this well. Let's put it in. Why don't we go ahead and do that together? Take a deep breath in. How are you doing right now? I'm okay. It's just the pain is, it's starting. Where do you describe your pain at, if you had to point? Up here. So like along here? Yes. It could be likely that the prosthetic is putting pressure on those nerves and causing what's called referred pain, and so you're getting that pain going across your forehead. My main concern is whether you're tolerating that prosthetic and whether it's putting too much pressure on your own eyeball. Then we have to decide what other options we have, which may include removing the eyeball. The fact that I'm gonna have to take, might have to take out my eye is a lot. I, have, I feel like I've lost enough. You're healthy, you have a beautiful future ahead, and this eye, unfortunately, is uh, injured. So what I'm gonna do is be in touch with our team and uh, get a good game plan of following you very closely over the next several weeks to see how things progress and go from there. We're gonna get you through this. Sounds good. Okay.